Hey Pokemaniacs, Vcount Kid up here, and serious pressure is mounting for the Master Ball Rental Rec team because this time they take on the cup they were chosen for. No pressure for Prima at all, I'm sure, but still anything can happen, even to a strong team like this one. And to that I say, on with the gauntlet. Alright, here we go again against Great Ball Rematch number one in the Master Ball Division, Pokefan Carmen. And I have to admit, the her combination of grass, water, and electric types is pretty smart. Like, it covers a lot of types. And she also has some normal types that, you know, have some random attacks, some status-inducing attacks, and, of course, random metronome. Overall, it's not a tough battle. Decent start. Really decent start. Bug against grass, he's going down. We hit the Mega Horn. Up next is Togetic, who actually boasts some considerable defense. So we'll try Mega Horn. It does do significant damage, but not enough. There goes Metronome, Egg Bomb, and a miss. Great. Let's try again. All right, three Mega Horns in a row. Ooh, Fire Blast this time. It does hurt a bit. Funny enough, Togetic can actually learn Fire Blast. Mine does. Mine knows it. And we hit the fourth Mega Horn, and it's gone. What did you save? Okay. It makes sense. Send out the bird and then leave the water balloon to be popped later. <sighs> Eventually. Now we're attracted. Coin toss. Not in our favor. Meanwhile, Surf is doing 30 damage. So we can have one more turn safely. Awesome. Not awesome, it did 27, so it's kind of a range. I'm not about to chance it, so let's go over to Alakazam. Now I know what you're thinking, why didn't I use Zapdos? They would have been a great fit. I don't know. I kind of have qualms about using legendaries intermixed with using, like, normal Pokemon, even though, of course, they're not all in the same tier. But, you know, legendaries can be in a league of their own, so it could be totally unfair. But, of course, if it's on the table, I'm going to take the option. Meanwhile, Alakazam just thunder punched as in we're and we win. And why did I bring Terra? For Raichu. Anywho, let's go on to battle two. Against Youngster Wyatt. And this would be another good one for Zapdos, but in this case I am going to bring Alakazam instead. Or both. You know, why not? Because overkill. Youngster likes to use his ditto. Generally his preferred pick. Would be a b good battle for Zapdos. But Psychic is enough. Because Pinsir uses Sword Stance. And only has Fury Cutter. Does have Submission too, but I mean, come on. Unfortunately, yeah, Pinsir is pretty bad. It doesn't even get Mega Horn. Hey, that's a great matchup. Will Psychic be enough? Oh, you bet it is. Lastly, you guessed it, it's Ditto. At least we'll be getting to go first. No, we won't. Quick Claw. 
So it's going to take the Psychic. No sped drop. So it's going to be Thunder Punch to another Thunder Punch. Now he still has the Quick Claw, so he could outspeed me. And we have even speed, so it's even more likely. But no. Oh, okay. Maybe he will get another turn. And he goes for a Reflect. Why? You have Recover at your disposal. Okay, here comes another Thunder Punch. And that's Battle 2. <laughs> what a waste. It's like you finally get to copy something decent. You get it. And what do you do with it? You use Reflect. Totally don't read the room. <laughs> I'm glad I brought Zapdos this time. He deserves it. Even though I didn't get to use him. Okay, Fire Breather, Cliff. He's all about the move Sunny Day. But ironically, his Arcanine is not. Has no fire attacks whatsoever. Zegator is in his lineup. That can be threatening. But really, the big threat is um, what's coming from me, Lucifer. We could just take on everything. So against Dodrio, I have Hidden Power Ice. And hey, I get a critical hit, so that's four times the damage. And there goes his level 54. We won't be seeing our canine. Okay, Marowak is a different story because it has Soft Sand and Stab Earthquake, which is pretty strong. So this is a case where I did have to bring Zapdos. I don't know why I'm starting to show shame on this in the Master Ball realm. All right, so I guess we're just going to keep drill packing. And it knows Icy Wind. Smart move. But it's going to take more than that. Marowak also has Fire Blast. Another odd inclusion. Okay, so my speed is in tatters, so I know he's not going to use Earthquake, so I'm actually going to switch right up back to Lucifer. Yeah, he's going to use Thunder Punch and it'll do nothing. Why put special attacks on your Marowak? It's got three of them. I just noticed that. But it is out of commission. Here we go on to the last Pokemon. Which is his Houndoom. Sunny Day, Crunch, Flamethrower, and Iron Tail. We're two for four on attacks. Iron Tail is kind of smart, but really Houndoom is sort of a special attacker. And he just set up Sunny Day, so we have a more powerful Flamethrower. Great damage. Also great damage. We got a critical hit against us. Hot Doom has the Focus Band. And it won't come into play. We're done with this one. Pretty easy when you have a fire type of your own. This rental team is actually pretty balanced. Unfortunately, Sammy is my only water type, so his ice typing made that battle chancy if, he, if it actually came down to him. So battle four against Dylan. He uses stall tactics and toxic. It's really not threatening at all. Only the Rhydon is actually an all-out attacker, and I never see him used. Cloyster comes out a lot. Maybe his Steelix. Okay, Cloyster's great. We'll just fire away. It's gonna do neutral damage. 
I think a lot of people forget that Cloyster is actually ice type. And has terrible special defense. So we have Steelix. Another one weak to fire. Yeah, I can even battle Rhydon with Lucifer right now. Hidden Power Ice, no problem. Take a Surf from Rhydon, who cares? But no, we won't see it. That hypothetical scenario I described in the first video here, it's happening. Lucifer versus Venusaur. <laughs> Flamethrower, and what would it use? Giga Drain. But normally, this Venusaur is actually bad to contend with. Like, it uses Toxic, it uses Leech Seed, and it uses Endure. So, he's a survivor, and he has the Focus Band. I'll give it its credit, but it's hopeless against a substitute. Lucifer sweeps, yet again. Battle 5 is against Teacher Molly, the double teaming, baton passing, bad word. <laughs> I really don't like this team. I hate playing against it. She has three passers and three water titans. Because, of course. So, undeniably, I have to use Lucifer to start against um, Giraffe Rig and Mr. Mime. Prevent any passing if I can, because I don't have a roarer. Zapdos is great for the water types. Okay, this is exactly what we predicted what would happen. So we'll start off with a crunch. Shave away Mr. Mime's paltry HP. And it uses Reflect. Okay, that's fine. And honestly, I'm getting my Mr. Mimes mixed up. I'm thinking of the Skier's Mr. Mime from Prime Cup. That one uses Double Team, and you really have to knock it out quickly. But anyway, we got the passer. On to the next one. And it's Politoed. Can't leave Lucifer in, obviously. And because he might use Earthquake, let's go to Zapdos. I'm just glad the Water Titans can't boost their own stats. However, Lapras can rest. But we won't see it. It's either it or Politoed. Unlucky on the Thunder Miss. Yeah, this Politoed is well prepared. Come on, Thunder. Oh, paralyzed though. That's good. By 4 HP? Alright, that's about 60. Reflect is gone. That's good. But I have a free rest. I'm going to use it now. And he uses Body Slam. We're going to dodge status. And we're awake. And we're all good. Drill pack away. Okay, it's a passer, and this one does have double team. Does have agility, and it knows swift. So honestly, it's a matter of time before this thing actually faints. It's just sort of delaying the inevitable. And funny enough, the stadium uh, description of Drill Peck says like it's highly accurate. Kind of like Surf. And yet, you know, it's just 100%. It's not like Swift, where it actually skips the accuracy check. We get by the double team, and we're good. Now we're like clear all the way to the final battle, honestly. It gets easier. Because next, Sage Chen's team, it's not that tough. It looks intimidating, but 
He goes through the bearings every time. He's going to use Umbreon. I'll tell you right now. He always uses Umbreon. And starts with it, too. The strategy is Screech and Confuse. Right. So we'll start with Sammy, who can actually substitute. Gotta go for Toxic first, though, because we don't care about Mean Luck. Alright, so our Toxic miss. We're gonna go for Substitute. Dodge the Confused Ray. Get some leftovers, and then let's try again with the Toxic. Okay, we're in the money. Stab on the bite. Good job. <laughs> and we'll just give him surfs. Bite number two. Okay. Sub is gone. Poison is settling in. We'll just spend a turn and reset. Yep. The moment you're exposed to Confuse Ray, the computer will go for it. Alright. Humbage's last turn. No crits, the sub lives, on bitch dies. Okay, Gengar, on the other hand, is all about the ghost moves. Loves Confuse Ray, Nightshade, Mean Look, and Destiny Bond. So let's see if we can freeze it first. Okay. Good damage. Now, I wanted to see if Nightshade wouldn't automatically break a substitute. That's why I went for another one. And I was wrong. There it goes. So here's where I went wrong. Obviously I'm going second. He uses Destiny Bond. And I don't set up another substitute. So Sammy is going to take the fall. Poor thing. No matter though. We still have Hound Doom, which destroys this team. Perfect. Battle's over. But hey, funny enough, as much as I think Sage Chen's team is really awful. It still knocked one out. It made clever use of Destiny Bond, so props to say uh, Chen. Penultimately, we're up against Bokefan Baxter, another balanced team, much like our own. We just need something that can take down the Johto starters because I do think they're the more powerful ones to contend with here. Granbull can be pretty strong, but it's also really slow. And Blissey. We don't talk about Hitmontop. <laughs> so we'll start with something neutral, Alakazam. Now I am prepared for Blissey. I have to have a physical attacker for it. Just in case. Great damage on the Psychic. 
questionable damage too. Hope it's a range. Yeah, that's a flamethrower. It took almost half. Like, where's your special defense, Alakazam? Really? And it's enough. Yeah, Typhlosion's pretty strong. Okay, another Johto starter. Much more physical than anything, so we're going to use Reflect. If Blastoise is the special attacking water starter, then Feraligator is definitely the physical one. I hope it got better in later generations. All right, let's see how much Thunder Punch does. Yeah, I didn't expect it to knock it out. But over half is nice. And I'm glad we didn't die yet because Feraligator, or Feral, actually has the... Okay, he's switch switching out. He actually has the um, Scope Lens for critical hits. So this means he brought all three Johto starters. That's fine. I only brought Terra for Blissey. So it would have had a roll. But now we gotta use Legendary. I forgot we had Reflect. I talked right over it. Yep, we set it up. Okay, Drill Pack. Meganium's also pretty defensive. There goes Thunder. Then again, there also goes for Alligator Surfs. So it can't use Earthquake, it can't use Surf. And it knows two other normal moves. One of them is Slash, and the other, I think, is Strength. I say I think because the book gets moves wrong sometimes. Like, it lists Rage and Strength. But it just used Slash, you know? Alright, that's the semi-final. Flawless bat match. And at the end of our seven battles, we have six continues going into the final battle. There they are. Here we up, up against Pokemaniac Pedro. And Pedro it boasts a lot of legendaries, or pseudo-legendaries, I should say. Like, really, really good Pokemon. Which, is me which means it's time for Zapdos to make an appearance once again. Thunder takes out the Flyers, Drillpeck, the Machamp. Although I'm really concerned about Kingdra and Tyranitar, if they show. It's going to be one, Dragonite or Tyranitar. Whatever will be, will be. Hey, perfect start. And nothing's immune to thunder. We go first. And hey, it hits. Wow, one down. Okay, he went with Dragonite. Now, the only move I've ever seen Dragonite use is Outrage. Thunder 2 misses. Here comes an Outrage. Now, you do expect it to do some uh, significant damage. Yeah, it did 70. That's a lot. Or 60 it did. Two th uh, thunder misses. So, yeah, that's a range. It's risky, so we are going to rest up here. Hopefully he's confused by now. He's not. 
but we're right awake again. And we can always play the Sleep Talk Galato later. Come on, Thunder 4. Hey, Paralysis. Yeah, decent damage. Alright, guess we'll go to sleep again. Well, very welcome Paralysis there. Sleep Talk to Lotto 1. Okay. I believe this is a new outrage. Sleep Talk Lotto 2. Thunder. Critical hit. That is luck right there. That is so lucky. And luck with the paralysis, uh, paralyzing. Paralysis, I know. And this is luck here too, because it's not the Kingdra, it's Machamp. Machamp can't do anything to us either. They can use Seismic Toss safely. They can't use Focus Energy, you can't do anything like that. And we dodged the Earthquakes. One Drill Pack, it's two Drill Packs, it's gone. And the recommend recommendation team has conquered the Master Ball Division. Zapdos swept the final battle. Like a true legendary. That's awesome. Let's analyze the run. And so ends another conquered Poke Cup. Now, even though Prima's Master Ball team is really good, it appeared that the computers were anything but. I know my Pokemon have an answer to most any threat, usually, but you'd think the AI would make some better choices when battling them. Most of mine swept three or two at a time until a switch out. Of course, it wasn't perfect though, we did lose Sammy in Battle 6, but there wasn't much to do about that except for stalling it out, and to be honest, I can get impatient when I'm recording these one cup after another. And additionally, what this team is doing to my battling style is it's making me aggressive and less strategic about my moves. Hopefully that won't impact my decisions or the record in the Prime Cup next time. I'm Vcount Kdub, thank you for watching, subscribe for more Gauntlet, and did you have any hang-ups about using legendaries against quote-unquote normal teams? I didn't back then, but this Gauntlet has me questioning its fairness. Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you in the finale. Who am I kidding? I love bullying the computer.